How are we all? In today's video, I have a question for you. Is your computer or laptop constantly freezing? Could you be in the middle of something and it just crashes? Or possibly the dreaded blue screen of death? It might be due to the RAM. The RAM is the computer's memory. And in today's video, we're gonna use an inbuilt tool within Windows called the Windows Memory Diagnostic. This will get us to take a look to see if your RAM is indeed the problem. Now, as always, these videos aren't gonna be the highest of quality. They might be pathetic looking, but I will get you there. Before we begin, the following is for a Windows-based operating system only. Now onto a critical note. You need to make sure that your device is plugged into its charging cable or plugged into its power source adequately. It will need to remain plugged in and powered on the entire time. The first thing I'll get you to do is click on the start in the lower left corner, then using your keyboard, type in Windows Memory Diagnostic. This will bring up the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. Now using your mouse, I want you to right click the Windows Memory Diagnostic and then left click on Run as Administrator. Now with these videos, I'm assuming that you already have administrative privileges. If you don't, this won't work. But if you do have administrative privileges, you will see that the Windows Memory Diagnostic will pop up in a little box format. The little box will give you a couple of options. What we want to do is click on Restart Now and check for problems. Upon doing so, your computer or laptop will automatically begin to restart. Once it reboots, it will automatically kick in the Windows Memory Diagnostic. It is best to leave this and make sure it is not touched uninterrupted. This diagnostic generally takes between 5 to 10 minutes. Once complete, your computer slash laptop will start up as normal. Once it starts up as normal, I want you to once more click on the start in the lower left. Next, using your keyboard, I want you to type in Event Viewer. This is where we will see the status of the Windows Memory Diagnostic. Using your mouse, I want you to right click on Event Viewer then left click on Run as Administrator. This brings up the Event Viewer. As you can see, it showcases quite a few things. What we want is to double click on System that is located at the bottom underneath Log Summary. Once you double click the System beneath the Log Summary, it will take you into the System Event Viewer. Now on the right, underneath Actions, I want you to click on Filter Current Log. This will bring up the Filtering tool. Now I want you to click on the drop down arrow located at Event Sources. Using your mouse, I want you to scroll down within the Event Sources until you come across Memory Diagnostics Results. Once you come across Memory Diagnostics Results, I want you to left click the box so that it becomes checked. Once the box has a little check, I want you to then press the OK button. This will now only show the results of the Windows Memory Diagnostic. If you see any errors, they will showcase here. You can always simply Google the error messages that come up, or alternatively, you can check out the other videos in my channel to help combat your performance issues. In my case, the number of events equals zero. That means my RAM is working perfectly. So there we have it. You now know how to check if your RAM is operating properly via the inbuilt Windows Memory Diagnostic Tool. As I stated before, do check out my other videos in the channel as I have a lot of videos on fixing your computer slash laptop's performance. Thank you for watching.